Hi, my name is Dave Baker from the Magnetic Sensor Group of Monolithic Power Systems. Today I'll be taking a look at the evaluation kits for the MagAlpha family of contactless magnetic angle sensors. MagAlpha sensors use a revolutionary phased digital magnetic hall sensing technique called spin axis to measure the angle of a rotating magnetic field. Unlike other hall based sensors, spin axis technique provides almost instantaneous angle capture and supports a wide range of rotation speeds from 0 RPM up to over 100,000 RPM with low latency. MagAlpha sensors also support different topologies of magnet and sensor orientation, including end of shaft, side shaft and orthogonal side shaft. MPS produces several families of MagAlpha sensor targeted to different applications. The MagAlpha range includes parts for brushless DC motor applications, general angle sensing applications and simple rotary knob user interfaces. For full details on the MAG Alpha sensor range, please download our position sensor brochure from the MPS website. So for each of the MAG Alpha sensors, MPS provides a small kit, uh, which we call a rotary knob kit. Um, and this consists of the sensor mounted on a small PCB um, with a plate with a hole in the top. We have a 5mm by 2mm two-pole magnet mounted in the shaft uh, of a rotating knob. And with this, we can uh, simply demonstrate angle sensing um, with the sensor. The PCB has a 16-way connector on the bottom which can connect to our interface kit or to the uh, uh, user's application, uh, own application. For applications where the rotary sensor isn't ideal, uh, we also produce test boards. For example, this is a TBMA board, uh, TBMA LT board, which is a stick-shaped board which has a sensor on the end, and this can be more useful in side shaft applications. So to get the data from the uh, rotary board or the test boards into the PC, we have what we call a MagAlpha communication kit or a MACOM kit. And this consists of uh, a main uh, microprocessor-based board that translates the data from the sensor to the USB port of the PC. And we have two daughter cards, one for the um, TMBA style test boards and one for the rotary uh, knob user interface. MPS provides a graphical user interface software application that can be downloaded from the Position Sensor support page on the MPS website. Instruction manuals for the Rotary Knob Kit and MACOM Communication Kit are also downloadable. So here you can see the assembled kit. I have the Rotary Knob Evaluation Board connected through a 16-way ribbon cable to the uh, MACOM Communication Board, which has the correct daughter card fitted for the Rotary Knob Kit. Uh, I then have a standard USB cable that connects into the laptop and on the laptop we have the MACOM software GUI app loaded up. If I wanted to uh, use one of the test boards, the TVMA boards, I would just use the TVMA COM daughter card and the other relevant ribbon cables to connect that, uh, to connect that up. Um, for each daughter card we have a pin header or a test header that can be used to probe the signals from the sensor, so the ABZ signals, the UVW signals, or the PWM outputs can all be accessed via these um, solder pads on the daughter cards, which you can either connect to a scope or to the rest of your system. So on the GUI here, you can see that as I uh, rotate the knob, the angle changes uh, accordingly with the position of the knob. So as well as monitoring the angle, uh, in the GUI, uh, we can also set some of the configuration parameters um, for the sensors. So one of the things we can do is to set the zero position offset um, in software that gets programmed into the into the sensor. We can also adjust the magnetic threshold levels if you're doing a push button application, and we can do things like side shaft trimming linearization with the VCT registers. For more details on any of the MagAlpha sensors or the evaluation boards, please go to our website at www.monolithicpower.com. Well, I hope you found that interesting and thank you for listening.